Welcome back to that bearded shooter. My name is Josh. Today we have a Mira gas mask. Hey all, before we get started, if you could give this video a like, make sure you have that notification bell turned on so you receive all the latest content. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing. All right, on with the video. So I don't remember if I was watching Demolition Ranch or Off the Ranch, probably Demo Ranch, but he had a mirror gas mask. And then I also saw Coleon Noir have a mirror gas mask. He did a comparison test between um, the two popular ones. Um, I went ahead and bought one. So it comes in this big box right here. And then I have not, I opened it, but as far as I got was this. So I don't know what's in it. I know what I ordered, but let's see. So it comes with packaging right there. So I ordered the CM6 uh, with a filter and uh, it says Mira Safety CM-M6M, sorry, CM-6M Tactical Gas Mask Full Face Respirator for CBRN Defense. And I also ordered the drop pouch as well. Um, let's see. Oh, they're out of Texas. All the good stuff's in Texas. So... This is the drop pouch. Ooh. Comes with a vacuum pack sealed filter. Mm. Oh, tells you about the canister. We'll look at that. And then we have the gas mask itself, which I have not opened. And I'm thinking it comes... I ordered the one with the filtration, the I mean the, the water drinking system. Tested to meet all relevant requirements in accordance with EN 136-1998. Uh, comes out of Austin, Texas, uh, mirasafety.com. I'll put a link in the description if anybody is curious. I don't have my knife on me. So we are going to, and I'm not going to open that. Um, I'm not breaking the seal on this. Um, just because I, I don't want to. I got stuff falling behind my head. It's probably my cat. And the dog is, is nice and quiet. Okay. So that's how it comes. Canteen. It's got a serial number with a registration link and email. If you have any questions? Oh, it's a warranty card. In order to activate the extended five year warranty, you must register your product within 30 days of purchase. If the extended warranty is not activated, the standard coverage period is one year from date of purchase. Keep this card in a safe place. So there's that. And then it has your directions for use. Um, I'm going to go ahead and read. There's eight parts on the front. I'm going to go ahead and read those. Starting with number one, there's a head harness, inner mask, a visor, uh, the exhalation chamber cover, speech diaphragm, the inhalation chamber is on the left and the right, the face piece, and the filter. So... Let's see, and it shows you how to put it on. So I don't know if it's going to seal with the beard. Um, but we're going to look at it anyways. You can smell it when you open it. Sweet. It's got a funky smell to it. This is pretty sweet looking. So that's the mask. It's got this on the inside. Right there. Um, here's your speech diaphragm. 
this this filter you take it out of the vacuum packaging which I'm not gonna do and then you unscrew this top piece and then you screw this into the inhalation chamber there into the port um, and then it's got this is for your water so it's got um, it's got this and it's got a little drinking tube so that you can can still drink um, and it's got a little on off switch right there pretty sweet I don't know what that on the bottom is oh that's the chamber cover for the exhale all right well it's I'm gonna try this on and see what uh see what we got I'm curious about the water oh oh okay so there's the water part right there and you just plug that into that we're gonna try this on right now so it's on um, it's actually pretty comfortable to be honest um, it fits pretty good on my face. Like I said, I don't know how it'll seal with the beard, but uh, pretty comfortable. And then the piece for the mouth for your um, for your water, it kind of just sits there. It's in my mouth now, but you can't really tell. So it's it's pretty comfortable, uh, all things considered. It's got a nice fit on the face. Um, I think it will work pretty well with with the beard. Um, I can most I can it's coming through here. I can hear it coming in, and I can hear it exhale on the bottom. I don't feel anything on the sides. Um, I feel I feel no no air coming in or out anywhere on the side of the face, and. Like I said, the water delivery system is perfect. If it's in my mouth right now, you can't tell. It doesn't bother my. It doesn't bother me a bit. Um, so, uh, this is pretty sweet. I like it. I'm going to take this off now, though. I just wanted to get a get a feel for how it feels on your face, um, and and how how you can see with it. And vision's pretty good. Like I got a pretty good field of view. Um, the lens is nice and clear and all that. Um, this is pretty sweet, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I like it. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take a picture of myself with it on. This is good, I like it a lot. Pretty comfortable. Okay, we're gonna take it back off. So, my first thoughts on this, um, I like it. I hope I never have to use it. Um, but, I mean, all the crap going on, you never know in the world today. But uh, this is pretty sweet, guys. I think it was... Oh, crap. What I pay for this? I want to say it was like... It was under three, I want to say. Um, and then I got a discount on... On the pouch, I believe... Um, it was like an add-on at the end. Let's see here. Let's see. Let's check this. Let's check this pouch out. So you can have it like a sling, okay? Or you can attach it to um, to your leg and have it like a leg rig. It's got adjustable straps here with buckles for your leg. Here and here. Um, and then that'll just attach to your belt. And then the mask. The mask will just go in here. This is smaller also than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be bigger. And I don't know why, but I thought it was going to be a lot bigger, and it's not. And, um, it's pretty sweet, honestly. I'm just going to put that in there see how this fits 
fits great. And it's got another buckle right here on the top. So like I said, it's got, you can have it as a pouch, you know. You can have it like that and that's adjustable as well. Oh, there goes my hat. Or you can have it on a, on a belt and have it on your leg. Um, I'm not sure which one I'll do because I already have a belt and I have sidearm on my left with a drop holster and then in, on the right I have other stuff. So if something happened, I would probably just, just throw it throw it over my shoulder or something like that. Um, it's got a spot for a patch. It's pretty sweet. Um, I like this thing. Let's see. Let's see what this box says. Uh, technical data. Okay, sweet. I know people are going to want to see this. So it says, I'm just going to read it right off the box so I don't mess anything up. Um, it's 560 grams. It's available only on one size. Uh, the general field of vision is a minimum of 70%, which I've got, I got pretty much, I would say 90% of my field of vision. There was maybe like from here to here I couldn't see out, so that's, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, binocular field of vision is a minimum of 80%. Again, I don't think it would hurt anything um, as far as binoculars or if you had a rifle. Or, or a pistol or whatever and you're trying to maneuver um, the only thing that might be bad is if you're trying to get a good um, a good sight with a scope that might not work that well but if you're doing reflex sights uh, I don't think you're gonna have an issue or iron sights should be fine uh, but if you're trying to get a scope where you have to get real you know on there real good this might not work now they do make another one with the eye holes that might be better for like a scope kind of scenario but um, if you have to use this I would assume you would be on the move and you would need the maneuverability of of a reflex or iron sight or something like that um, uh, talking says 95% um, understandability um, and as I don't know how it showed up on camera, but I thought that um, I thought I sounded fine even with the piece in my mouth for the, for the drinking system. It was in my mouth the whole time, but it's real soft rubber. So when you talk, it, it bends with it. So, so that's that wasn't a problem either. The face piece material is bromine uh, rubber, uh, butyl, butyl. <laughs> I don't know how to say that word. Anyway, <clears throat> it's rubber. Uh, the visor material is a polycarbonate. The filter connection thread is RD40 by 1.7. And the breathing resistance is at 30 is one minute airflow. The inhalation resistance is a max of 30 PA. And the exhale um, resistance is 60 PA. Um... It was made in the Czech Republic, which I didn't know. The company um, is in Austin, but it's made in the Czech Republic. And then it has a warning on the side. I'm going to read the warning. It says, proper use of this face mask and deployment filter cartridges require reading and understanding the enclosed instructions. Respect its limitations and warnings. Misuse may result in sickness or death. User must be properly trained in the correct use of this product. User accepts all responsibility for necessary training. Um, and then on the front part here, it says modern face, uh, modern full face respirator developed for tactical CBRN and riot control situations. And then on the side, I'm going to go ahead and read that as well. There's a lot of reading material, so sorry if I'm boring you. It says, technology for protection, utility, and comfort. It has a drinking system, easy drinking system with canteen included. Also compatible with the Camel Pack hydration system or the M1 canteen with a Type M protective mask adapter, which is not included. 
but I didn't know that you can use a Camelback, so that's cool. So I have one of those. Um, so worst case scenario, I guess you just thread it up in there. Um, then it has a built-in speech diaphragm for high quality speech. Uh, enables easy communication with or without additional communication devices, which means you don't have to have a, anything talking. You can just talk normal and you should be able to hear it just fine. Uh, then it has a panoramic visor made from high impact resistant polycarbonate. The 180 field, 180 degree visor ensures wide disoriented field of view in critical situations where vision is essential. Airflow within the mask protects the visor from misting. So that's good. Uh, as a five point head harness provides optimal support and comfort and is specifically designed for easy donning and dofting Built-in hairnet and large adjusting points prevent hair tangling and pulling. You know that's true because my hair is getting pretty long now and it didn't pull my hair at all. And like when I use a snorkel, that junk hurts. But this, that didn't hurt at all. So that's cool. And then it's got the bromutal rubber. If I said that right, I don't know. Uh, the CM-6M face piece is made with a bromine rubber with a high level resistance against toxic industrial chemical and chemical warfare agent penetration. The inner mask is made of a special hypoallergenic compound that ensures excellent tightness and avoids contact between exhaled air and the visor protecting it from fogging. Well, that's cool. So it's anti-mist and anti-fog. Uh, two filter ports. Um, made for low breathing resistance. Fits up to two standard RD40 by 17 filters. The design of the 6M, I mean CM 6M filter allows the filter canister installation on the right or left side, enabling sighting a weapon from either side of the face piece. Oh yeah, I was gonna say that and I forgot. So if you're if you're right-handed or left-handed shooter, so let's say that you've let's say you got this on and you're right-handed shooter, and the filter is getting in the way because you're you know you're trying to maneuver. There's two sides to this, and there's a block right there. So you just undo the block. If you're a right-handed shooter, it's already blocked. It's capped. So you put your filter on the left. If you're a left-handed shooter, you would take the cap and put it on the left so you can shoot right or left or whatever. Um, so that's pretty sweet. And this filter, you can order, you can order more filters, but it comes with one. Um, some packages, I think, come with two. But like I said, I'll put a link in the description and you can look for yourself and see uh, see what you want to do. I don't know if they're on back order or not. I I would assume they might be on back order. Um, but I'm not 100% sure. I can still do... I, I'm going to do the warranty. I'm, I can still do that because I'm not yet quite 30 days. Um... The order form was made January 28th, so uh, today, as I'm making this video, is, ooh, I lied, no, 25, 26, 27, 28, no, I lied, it's March 1st, so, um, March 1st, today's March 1st, so, but yeah, um, you can order these, I think they're like 50 or 70 or something, it's all on the website, I don't remember, um, but it, it's on there. And then there was this piece. Now, does this say? I was trying to see maybe if this said how much they were, but it does not have a price on them. Although it does have a lifetime. Oh, it's got a it's got a thing. Uh, approximate time, use, and minutes. So it's got a little thing right there. Um, what you do is, there's a little math problem. You take the DAC and you multiply that by 1,000 and divide that by the AF times the C. So what that means is um, T equals DAC times 1,000 over AF times C. So that is the, the approximate usage time in minutes. To get that answer, you need to look at the di dynamic absorption capacity in grams, and there's a table on the bottom of this, 
um, and you multiply that times a thousand and then you take the airflow consumption and you multiply that by the concentration of gas and that'll give you roughly how long it'll work uh, breakthrough time in minutes pretty much says 35 to 39 all the way to two plus hours um, depending on what you're trying to filter out and all that stuff um, and then it's it's all here and it's, it's looks technical uh, storage and maintenance you want to store it sealed filters tolerate a 30 negative 30 to positive 50 degrees Celsius with the RH below 95 um, it says uh, storage filters unopened unopened in a clean place consistent temperature between 5 and negative 5 uh, do not try to regenerate with filters. Never clean the filters with compressed air or compressed water. And then the um, disposable, I mean the disposal, after use the filters are special refuse. Make sure they are disposed of in accordance with the current waste treatment regulations based on the substance. If the product is to be disposed of, it should be dismantled from the respirator and disposed of as solid waste. Please see your local authority regulations for disposal advice and locations. Uh, meaning if there's some kind of a toxin, you want to take care of it correctly. Uh, that's pretty much, I think, all I got for this. I'm sorry for all the technical stuff. I just wanted to make sure that I was telling you guys what was in this. That's pretty sweet, though. This is cool. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I want to I want to put this on, but I don't want to open it and break that seal. So I'm going to leave that alone. Um, but yeah, these are really comfortable. So if, if you guys are looking to get one, like I said, I don't know how it's going to actually work with a beard. But it feels fantastic, and you can't feel any air coming in. That doesn't mean that it's not. Um, they say that it's, it's better with no beard. Uh, with a clean-shaven face works the best. Obviously, stubble you know the hair because it can't get a good seal i thought it worked fine and i think it looks awesome and it feels good on your head and it doesn't pull your hair and it's simple to use uh, so that's my unboxing on the mira safety cm-6m um gas mask so thanks for watching and y'all be safe